Yes, sir. Okay. So, uh, have you studied any chapter from chemistry? Yes, sir. We have uh, studied until halo al alkanes and haloarenes. Still in the middle of that chapter. Okay. Uh, nice. Uh, have you studied a uh, solution? Yes, sir. We finished that chapter. Mm, so, uh, which chapter we should I start? Uh, should I start from solution or? Sir, you from... have studied this solution from uh, the school, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, so which chapter? Solution or some? Uh, uh, hello, Alkin, sir. Hello, Alkin. Yes. Okay, we will start from uh, hello, Alkin. Okay, let's just start. Uh, how's your organic chemistry of class 11? Uh, sir, very weak, actually. Very weak. That means uh, you will have, uh, you are uh, having problem in hello, Alkin. Yes. <clears throat> Okay, no problem. Let's just start handling this. So first of all, I'm going to introduce what does this halo alkane means and what does this halo arena means. So halo alkanes. So you already know that this halo comes from halogen that is basically x which has a uh, x can be fluorine chlorine bromine and iodine but when we talk about alkanes it is basically from hydrocarbon hydrocarbon and we denote it with r r is basically alkyl group alkyl group so in the short form we are going to write rx for halo alkane and specifically alkanes means the bond between carbon carbon should be single is that clear yes sir so this r is for alkyl group and x is for halogen this is halo alkanes in iup but when we talk about uh, in common name it its name will be alkyl halide alkyl halide now come to this part halo arenes halo means you already know halo is basically halogens that means x will be fluorine chlorine bromine and iodine but this arenes means but this arenes means benzene this arene means benzene so whenever do, uh, do you know the uh, do you know about benzene uh, no sir you don't know benzene is the most famous compound in organic chemistry that has a chemical formula c6 h6 and had a structure cyclic structure like cyclohexane but in alternate position there will be double bond this is benzene okay sir <clears throat> this is benzene have you seen it anywhere yes very good <clears throat> now so whenever with a benzene an x is attached that is called halo arenes whether one x one x is attached whether two or three it will be halo arenes <clears throat> is that clear yes sir it's clear. <clears throat> please please write it okay. so are, are you really a true fan of fcb yes sir i am i follow okay. all the news okay, okay. So this is basically halo alkanes and halo arenes.
Okay, sir. Now we are going for classification. classification of haloalkanes or you can call it classification both for haloalkanes and haloalkanes there will be a base to classify haloalkanes and haloalkanes like if i am going to classify the students i can classify on the basis of gender on the basis of uh, marks that they obtain so there will be base for the classification and here the first base is on the basis of number of halogen atoms on the basis of number of halogen atoms now you can see if we have like c2h5x this is mono haloalkane that means this haloalkane has only one halogen we can classify it like uh, uh, the next can be dihaloalkane the next can be dihaloalkane like this ch2x ch2x this is dihaloalkane the next c2 this is very easy chx and ch2x this is trihaloalkane this is trihaloalkane in the same way we can go for haloarene monohaloarene dihaloarene and trihaloarene tetrahaloarene whatever so this is basically mono halo ring di halo ring and then the third comes trihaloarene x x and x this means trihaloarene so the first classification is very easy on the basis of number of halogen atoms whatever is the number of halogen atom then uh, like one one halogen atom mono two di three tri four tetra five penta like this yes sir okay just let me know when you are done with this I and mean, let me know when you are done with this what's the pronunciation yes, of your name ayman 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 yes actually i was pronunciation uh, the pronunciation was like ayman it's a girl yes, name sir. Like uh, okay it's fine ayman. sir uh, people you know they can okay. Yeah. okay thank you let me know when you are done with this yes sir i'm done <laughs> okay now the next classification is basically on the basis of uh, the second classification is basically compounds containing cx bond in which the hybridization of carbon should be must be sp3 and you know x is basically fluorine chlorine bromine and iodine now see <coughs> to which the carbon uh, sorry to which the x halogen attached with the carbon the carbon should be sp3 hybridized first of all and here the classification is basically primary secondary tertiary and for that we need to know about degree of halogen first i am going to introduce degree of carbon do you know what is degree of carbon no sir i don't remember actually 
So basically, what is degree of carbon? Concentrate here to how many carbons? To how many carbons? A carbon is directly connected. A carbon is directly connected. That means you. Uh, are you comfortable in bond line structure and formula like this 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 yes sir yeah. you are comfortable yes you know how many how many yes. carbon is in this diagram can you tell yes, me sir. the number of carbon 1 2 3 4 5 right very good so very good that's good now see if you are going to calculate the degree of carbon of this can you tell me to how many carbon it is directly attached 1 1 that means it is 1 degree Can you tell me how many uh, two carbons directly two two degree? Tell this me about three. This. Three degree, very good. What about this, this one. one degree? One degree. This also so one. this is how this uh, this is very easy, and this is how we are going to calculate the degree of carbon. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Okay. So if I am going to ask you about this, what is the degree of this carbon? Uh, sir, four. Four degree. now this is 2 degree two. this is also 2 degree this is 2 degree this is 1 degree this is 1 degree this is 1 degree this is 1 degree yes or no yes this is 2 degree so basically you all uh, you also know 1 degree that means primary carbon 2 degree means that means secondary and 3 degree means that is tertiary, tertiary. now see now we will study about degree of halogen degree of halogen so how we are going to calculate degree of halogen basically degree of halogen will be equal to to the degree of carbon is will be it will be equal to the degree of carbon to which it is attached it is connected or it is attached are you getting my point if i am giving you like this and this is fluorine or x you can take fluorine chlorine bromine and iodine can you tell me the uh, degree of halogen if we, there is a question what is the degree of this fluorine so you just need to check the degree of carbon to which it is directly attached so let me know the degree of this uh, carbon two, sir. so if this is two, two degree carbon. since it is directly attached to two carbon so the degree of halogen here will be two degree or we can write Second primary degree. Sorry, secondary. Yes, yes. Degree. That means secondary halogen. Yes or no? So it is yes, very easy to calculate degree of halogen or degree of carbon. Please write it. Okay. Then I will uh, tell you what is the this classification containing sp three c x bond. Okay, I'm done. Very good. Now see. Now we are going for classification. So the first classification for sp three cx one. Will be alkyl halides as common name, or we also say halo alkenes, halo alkenes as IUPAC name, and this is RX. RX that means alkyl halide or 
halo alkanes r is for alkanes now see if carbon is directly attached to this and this r do you know what is this r r is alkyl group that means it is a car uh, carbon compound carbon like r can be uh, ch3 or it can be methyl ethyl propyl butyl etc okay okay sir so can you tell me the degree of this carbon four how can it be four uh, okay sir so, uh, it's two because it's how can it be two it's attached to r and x r and x so this is the uh, uh, this is mistake if i'm asking you what is the degree of this carbon what you need to see is to how many carbons it is directly attached you can see horizontal up it is hydrogen horizontal down it is hydrogen on the right it is x it is attached this carbon center carbon is only attached with one carbon that is on the left hand side so isn't it one degree yes sir okay okay now let me know the degree of this carbon the second uh, one two two degree now let me know the degree of third carbon uh, three so if i am going to ask you how, uh, what is the degree of halogen one halogen primary halogen primary halo alkene this is secondary and this is tertiary since i had given you the degree of carbon to which x is connected directly so we can easily calculate the degree of this because whatever is the degree of this will be the degree of this yes or no yes so this is the first classification of sp3 ch bond that is alkyl halide primary secondary tertiary is that clear yes sir it's clear so please write it then we will classify the second that will be allylic halides Okay, I'm done, sir. Okay, now the next classification comes out to be allylic halides. And what is allylic halides? First, I'm going to define it. It is very easy. <clears throat> so, uh, you are done with the previous one, right? Yes. So basically, in this, halogen atoms, halogen. halogen atom is bonded to a sp3 hybridized carbon do you know hybrid how to calculate hybridization uh, no not really i forgot okay so you haven't studied the chapter chemical bonding no okay uh, halogen atom is bonded to sp3 hybridized carbon atom and adjacent carbon atom adjacent to carbon carbon double bond carbon carbon double bond that means c double bond c 
and this position is basically that is allylic carbon we call it allylic carbon so what does this means this focus here there will be c double bond c and there will be h and then again c and here it is h2 and then x c always remember that hybridization it's a short form is equal to it will work mostly in organic chemistry because we know how to draw the structure of organic chemistry um, organic compounds to uh, because the bond of carbon is fixed that means carbon will always make four bonds not more than that if lesser than that there will be some charges or radicals and all are you getting my point yes sir if i uh, if i will tell you can you draw the structure of c2h4 cl2 yes you can carbon carbon four hydrogen give two hydrogen to this give two hydrogen to this two chlorine give one chlorine to this this are you getting my point yes sir so now see hybridization is equal to basically lone pair lone pair plus sigma bond we need to write uh, lone pair plus sigma bond if if you are going to add this lone pair plus sigma bond and if it is four then the hybridization will be sp3 if it is two then the hybridization will be sp2 and if it is if, if it is three then hybridization is sp2 and if it, the sum is two the hybridization will be sp like if you are going to calculate the hybridization of this carbon so the first question arises is that does this carbon have lone pair yes or no Oh, yes no do you know the atomic number of carbon it's 12 that is atomic mass uh okay so 6 six. Six. 6 so in the first cell there will be two electron and in the last cell that is going to share to make bonds is four yes or no only yes. four electrons so yes. all the four electrons are used in making bonds so there is no lone pair that means lone pair is zero can you uh, do you know the difference between sigma bond and lone uh, sorry and pi bond can you calculate the number of sigma bond on pi bond if no, i will give you no so always I can't hear you, sir. You're lagging. And it's sigma bond. If there is multiple bond, if there is are you there? Yes, sir. Are uh, you uh, cut out on the video? Yes. Yeah, yeah, no problem. So what I was asking is sigma bond and lone pair. Uh, sorry, pi bond. So all the single bond, all the single bond is sigma bond. When we talk about double bond, when we talk about double bond, one bond is sigma and another is pi. When we talk about triple bond, triple bond, one is sigma and then two pi bond. Are you getting my point? Yes, sir. So basically, one point is to remember is that without sigma, there will be no formation of pi bond. First, there will be sigma and then formation of pi bond. Now tell me, this is sigma bond because it is single. This is also sigma bond because it is single. This is sigma. This is sigma. How many sigma bond forms? Four. Four. Zero lone pair. So the sum is four. So if the sum is four, what is the hybridization? Sp three. Again, you can do this. Sp three. Are you getting my point? So yes, sir, um, okay, in uh, for carbon compound, for carbon compound, whenever carbon making single bond, it uh, the hybridization will be sp three. Whenever carbon makes one double bond, the hybridization will be sp two. And whenever carbon making three bond, three that means basically triple bond, carbon will have sp hybridization. I will uh, let you know about this. Uh, please write this. Then I will again explain. with a gram okay sir
Okay, so I'm good. You're done. Now see, what I was saying is that if you have single bond, you have already seen. Now this is CH two double bond C, and then just suppose CH. Now you can see this is double bond. This is H. This is H. There is no lone pair. There is no lone pair, right? So Lone pair is zero, and how many sigma bond does it have? One, two, three. In double bond, one is sigma and one is pi. And for hybridization, we just take lone pair plus sigma bond. So sigma bond is three. So the sum is three. That means sp two. So whenever carbon makes a single bond, that means sp two. And if the carbon is making one of the carbon is making two single bond, two double bond. Sorry, two double bond. If A carbon is making only one sig, uh, one double bond that will have a hybridization sp two. But if a carbon is making two double bond, so the hybridization will be sp. See how we are talking about this carbon. How many sigma bond? Uh, how many lone pair does it have? Zero. How zero. many sigma bond? Uh, one, one here, one there. One. one plus one that yeah. will be two. So the sum is two. That means sp. So this is what I want to tell you. again if you if a carbon is making triple bond you can see the uh, it has zero lone pair plus sigma bond one and then two only two sigma bond so the sum is two that means sp hybridization is that clear yes sir it's clear now see we were talking about allylic carbon allylic carbon you can see this is ch2 double bond ch single bond ch2 x so what is allylic carbon this is basically allylic carbon allylic carbon and with allylic carbon if there is x that means halogen that is called allylic halides so what uh, what is the difference what does it mean basically whenever there is double bond and then a singly bonded carbon which is sp3 hybridized this is called allylic like this if you are going to take a example you can see this is double bond and with this doubly bonded carbon there will be a carbon which is sp3 hybridized and with this sp3 hybridized there is x that is called allylic halides is that clear yes sir it's clear tell me whether it is allylic halide or not one and uh sir one is one is allylic like first pick yes sir and the second, second is second i'm not sure no it is not 
It is why okay. you can see this yes, is the adjacent not, uh, doubly bonded carbon, and this is carbon. And the, yes, it is. No, wait a minute. Yes, it is. This is if this is X, that means it is. You can see this is sp3 and two sp3 carbon. It is attached. Yes or no? Okay. Yes, sir. Now, if the question is like this, is it allylic? No, sir. Because it's not directly attached to X. Directly attached to X. No. See. this is doubly bonded to which a carbon is this and it is far away from this so it according to the definition the carbon which is sp3 hybridized the carbon which is sp3 hybridized there will there should be a carbon adjacent carbon the adjacent carbon to this carbon should be doubly bonded this will be the allylic definition of allylic condition of allylic but here you can see adjacent to this carbon is x but this is not allylic halides because the allylic halides the allylic carbon is uh, basically the carbon the x to which carbon is attached is far away from is this are you getting my point yes sir okay please write it okay is right let me know when you are done with this okay sir Yes, sir. Very good. So this is basically allylic halides. When we talk about benzylic halide, benzylic halide is also part of this. But the difference is there will be benzene only. Benzylic halides. Now you can see, this is our benzene, and this is doubly bonded. That means there will be another carbon. there will be another carbon to which x will be associated or attached this is benzylic halide you can uh, come converse like this to this carbon to which x is attached and adjacent of carbon adjacent of this carbon should be doubly bonded are you getting my point yes sir clearly so this is benzylic halides can you tell me the degree of this carbon this halogen degree of halogen um, so for which carbon yes. yes halogen halogen we are talking about halogen that means we are talking about this carbon if i am asking you degree of halogen uh, that is we are talking it's one one degree that means primary benzylic halide this is secondary this is two this is tertiary tertiary so please write it so i mean this is basically our trial class so this was only for 13 minutes and we'll have class for 1.5 hours next so
okay sir so uh, one thing more important is that uh, whenever you do this chapter in organic chemistry make sure you are going to write the iupac name of everything that you come across okay so that it will cover your iupac because in class 11th we covered every iupac every function uh, uh, every iupac of functional group okay so there will be very less information about iupac but i will try to cover that on look please let me know when you are done with this Okay, sir, I'm done. Okay, 